these cards to the register. Okay. And bring them up. And I think Sean might be explaining to his opponent, you, your deck contains no win conditions. Uh, no, I think Sean is just milking his time on camera. <laughs> <laughs> Difficult to say. Maybe he's uh, he's maybe he's studying David's approach to the matchup. Sean, cut it out. <laughs> I see. Oh, he left oh, microphones in. Okay, so I understand uh. this. He wants the only way that David can win is if he decks Sean. Necropotence prevents him from being able to draw cards, which, if you're out, is decking your opponent is a good thing. Uh, and so now David David's line to victory is to find his Yagmas bargain. Put it on the field and never activate it. That's right. Uh, what a trick. And also not die to Sean. Uh, oh, wait, he, I mean, he has Mimic Trap. That should be easy. <laughs> Sean had to burn like three resources to uh, get the Sad Sacrament off. And now we'll. Uh, and I would not play Mana Crypt here. Um, fair. I think I would I would agree with that line. Okay. Um, I'm not sure that I'd play the Academy. I think I like. Uh, oh, okay. Here's a, here comes a Pearl. Might as well play. Uh, I think it's no. Uh, I, if you're gonna milk this for the the draw out, like yeah. <laughs> well, Sean's uh, definitely helping out. Maybe he's gonna land his own. You know, if they both land a bargain. <laughs> oh please. <laughs> With that. Um, okay, so as a judge, if uh -huh. both players play a spell that prevents them from drawing the game and refuse to activate it, is that stalling? Uh, <laughs> uh, you know, I don't know, man. <laughs> I'm just, not, I'm just really not sure. Uh, I wonder whether David is gonna go to, uh, gonna try to go to discard and set up his, uh, his graveyard for a really big Yagma spell. Or if Sean, on the other hand, is gonna try to get his own Yagma spell flashbacks into Six Sacrament and remove the uh, Yagma bargain from uh, David's deck. Okay, I think that would be a pretty styling way to take the game. Do you think he's just trying to end the pain? What's happening here? Uh, I think he's gonna he's about to go big. And uh, do what? Uh, well, you know, that's a good question. Uh, 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 maybe he's gonna maybe he has a death wish in his side in his main deck that he boarded in? Well it's not on the deck list. Well, yeah, that mm, that would be pretty challenging for him to have though. Maybe he's going to Yeah, I'm stretching here. Could be going for that bargain. You know, it's like once you have the bargain, he's got the purpose to get himself out of the uh, out of the mana crypt. Oh no, maybe he just wanted four mana to be able to cap, like pay retail for my crypt. Okay. But then that doesn't involve casting the mana crypt. So. I'm confused as well. Well, since he only has a one mind bear trap, it mm -hmm. even if Sean Sean would have to mess up very badly in order to lose to mind bear trap. Yeah, I'm not entirely sure how that would, that would be possible. Uh, he would have to like get Tendril's mind break trapped, and then David would have to twister it back in or something, and huh. draw it again. Okay. Uh, yeah, it's a bit of a stretch here. Yeah, yeah, but it looks like he is going to go for that uh, that dark petition. I think because David's playing a lot of stuff in his turn. You know, Storm counts a lot, but I think you know Sean can afford to not pay attention anymore. <laughs> He can dark petition to get at that bargain, and then and then might even have enough. Oh, he has to be mindful of his blue mana so that he can pay retail to cast a uh, memory trap on uh, on Sean's. I don't know. Sean doesn't have disruption. I don't know what I'm thinking. Yeah. Uh, well, there's a tendrils, but I don't think he wanted to want to draw tendrils with only two cards in hand. That's a fair assumption. Sean did draw a Demonic Tutor, which uh, he keeps in hand. He might have wanted to leave it on top so that he uh, is protected against discard spells. Uh, sure. Uh, I think that that would require, like, David's playing face up right now. Um, he's going to get Mind Scissor? It does have Storm on it. it. You know, that's true. And we needed to be keeping track. Most cards with Storm on their text help you win the game. That's a pretty safe heuristic. At least. I'm not sure. D David is approaching this, is coming at this situation in the way that I think I would too. Uh, I don't know what I'm supposed to do, so I'm just going to do the thing that is the coolest. Okay. And hope that it is good. We are playing vintage, so, so that's pretty much the metric for the format. Yeah, by default, it's difficult to not do cool things. Sean had actually done the least cool thing of the entire day. 
so that's right. Jester scap his opponent. David doesn't even <laughs> want to play anymore. That's completely reasonable. Maybe Sean explained at this point that there's no way to win. Yeah, he... Yeah. Oh, yeah, hey, oh. there it is. You're dead. Yeah. Uh, is Sean hitting David with the... Still had all these? I think he might. Perfect. Okay, that's, sporting. That's a little rude. I agree. Especially after casting Sadistic Sacrament on somebody. Yeah, I don't know that I would... Uh, Cruelly playing around his disruption as well. Yeah. We'll, uh, we'll, uh, we'll head on up back to the booth in just a moment. Yeah. Uh, that was it. Entertaining Storm Mirror. Uh, not the first time we've seen it today. But, uh... Ended in a question mark? <laughs> Ended in a statistic <laughs> sacrament? Is this good? Yeah. Uh, Super. Dr. Sean, you did end up winning. It's sadistic sacrament. Really simple. Um, Powerful card if, uh... If your opponent, if your opponent's deck contains two two things that kill your opponent, it had two real ones and then two half ones. I think. Yeah, anyway. I'll buy that assessment. So I think we're gonna go down for just a bit, just a bit to uh, Tilo and uh, RBL. Okay. Uh, so it's gonna we're gonna see Storm in the finals once again versus and either gifts or shops. Should be should be interesting either way. Uh, we hope you stay tuned, uh, and we'll see you in just a moment. Cool.